Welcome to Champions Heart. You can't play boxing. Featuring boxing addict Johnny Farace and friends from super fans to superstars. Hey, 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 good morning, boxing fans. Today is Thursday, June 25th, and I have your boxing headlines for you today. Bob Arum says Vasily Lomachenko and Teofimo Lopez tentatively set for September 19th. Although a date has yet to be confirmed, inside sources are saying that this will be taking place in Las Vegas. Get your popcorn ready, baby. Top ranked Jose Pedraza and Mikel Espierre was rescheduled for July 2nd, the super lightweight contest between former 2-8 division and champion Jose Pedraza and contender Mikel Les Pierre will now take place July 2nd. The two were originally supposed to meet in June as a headliner at Top Rank's fourth summer series show, but unfortunately both men and their contest were scrapped when Les Pierre's manager contracted COVID. Jamal Heron versus Jonathan Alquenda is postponed due to positive COVID-19 test for Jamal Heron. He's going to have to fight the virus before he fights Heron, but hopefully they're going to get back at it later this year. Stay tuned. In a big boxing upset on Tuesday night on ESPN, Joshua Franco dropped Andrew Maloney on his way to win a vacant WBA super flyweight title. Franco dominated down the stretch, knocked Maloney down in the 11th, and swept the 12th on all three judges' scorecards to a unanimous victory decision win, baby. Boxing Insider is reporting that Oscar De La Hoya is eyeing a comeback after a dozen years away from the ring. First Mike Tyson, then Evander Holyfield, now Oscar De La Hoya. The former 6th Division world champion has watched from the sidelines for the past 12 years, but he's itching to get back in the ring again. De La Hoya is 47 years old, and I get it. You get this itch later in life. You want to come back in the ring. You want to come back to boxing. But I need to remind all of these seniors, you can't play boxing, baby. What do you think about this? ESPN is reporting the meeting between British heavyweights Daniel Du Bois and Joe Joyce has been rescheduled for October 24th in London's O2 Arena. Frank Warren has announced on Thursday, let's get it on, big boys. Coming out of Miami, Bad Promotions announced their second show July 25th at the Gulfstream Park in Hallandale Beach, Florida. Main event will have Mark DeLuca coming off a loss to Kel Brook facing tough and rugged Javier Frazier, live on Fight TV. Boxing Insider is reporting from across the pond. The British and Irish Boxing Authority has announced earlier today that they will host a series of 10 events under the Let Battle Commence banner. The events are scheduled to take place on July 18th and will be shown on Fight TV. While the rest of the world is sitting out dealing with COVID-19 and unemployment, Terrence Bud Crawford refuses to fight for a pay cut. He states, and I quote, you have to pay me. Don't tell me that I have to take a pay cut because of the pandemic. I don't feel that's right. We're right there with you, bud. And finally tonight, you have live boxing on ESPN. We have a headliner, Jason Maloney versus Leonardo Diaz over 10 rounds at the bubble at the MGM Grand. The 29-year-old Australian Maloney will be fighting in the U.S. for only the second time in his career following his razor-thin split decision loss to IBF champion Emmanuel Rodriguez in the Super Series a couple years ago. Look out for some live boxing tonight. Thank you for listening in. We'll be back tomorrow with another You Can't Play Boxing. Until then, you dream big, live large, love life, baby.